There's um, there's a thing there. <laughs> Amazing thing is, I might as well stay on here. <laughs> this foot right here, a little bit wet. Wow. Yeah. In that grass. It's a little, little stump. Here we are, the thousand kilometer video review update. And it's the last video review update on the old MSX. Thousand kilometers, second wheel, we've got to a thousand kilometers on there, all the ones we're doing. We've got the V10, which is also finished, it's thousand kilometers now, video's being done on that. So, how have I been getting on with this? I've had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. It has been a beast of a machine. The power output, the range, uh, the build of it has been absolutely spot on. Now there's some footage you might have seen of me doing the jumping video. It's called something like Let's Talk About Jumping. The title of the video is on our YouTube channel. That was taking some massive hits then and I was a bit concerned because what I try and do with these review videos is not smash wheels up during that thousand kilometer test so you can be sure there's nothing that you've done if something does go wrong. Anyway, despite that and despite the Bristol meet EUC meet that we did, the video, that got a massive smash as well down there, some steps, it's worth watching. It has fared absolutely perfectly, no issues whatsoever and everything is still operating like it originally came out of the box when it was brand new. If you remember from my previous video, probably the first one, the light stays half on, um, which got away. As soon as it was reported, immediately sent me another control board to swap out. But it was only a light, and it's like a day running light, I call it. Special feature of my MSX. But as I suspected, it caused no issues whatsoever. It's just half on when you turn the machine on. It doesn't cause me any issues doesn't affect the performance, so I thought, actually, I'm not even going to open it up and spend the time swapping this out. I'll just leave it in there. So I've done that. One day, maybe, swap it over. Probably not. Just leave it and see how long it runs for. Now, typically, what happens when we finish these demos, we sell the wheels off, because obviously it's quite expensive running this many wheels out on demo and testing them all out. But this one I will probably keep and keep on using. It's like the monster which is on the wall. It's hung there because we did 1,080 miles on it and some more. And it's been hung on the wall as a bit of a trophy. Don't really use it that much, very rarely goes out. This one I will just continue to use, won't shift it after the thousand. And it doesn't mean, when we're selling these wheels off, it doesn't mean that they're terrible, so we sell them off. It just means that you can't have every single wheel. And at the pick of the wheels right now, at the date of filming this, this has been my favorite wheel so far. I say, reiterate, incredibly powerful and long range. And those two things, especially hill climbs, through the forest, off-road trails, over slaloms and bumps and jumps and whatever you throw at it, this thing has just lapped it up. A couple of things that have changed. One is these side pads. So the side pads came with a really thin grey one back in the day. That's when they first came out. Now they changed that really rapidly again. They did an adjustment, they just issued them with these. So now they always come with these black ones. But they feel like they're really digging into your legs. So that can take some getting used to. If you first start riding MSX, Again, with a lot of wheels, if you change from one model to another or it's your first wheel, then you'll find you need to take some conditioning into account. So give it 50 miles and after that, you're probably gonna be absolutely used to it. The second thing is, is the mud guard, which came out after I got it. And that is an absolute must. So the only critique of this would be that they don't include a mud guard with it. It would be awesome if that just came with the wheel. Because without it, okay in summer, Winter, meh. Mudguard changes all that. Pretty cheap, inexpensive uh, upgrade, essentially, to it, but a necessity, in my opinion. Not only that, is it's flexible. 
So it's a rubber mug guard. The amount of times it's fallen backwards onto the mug guard, it's not a 3D printed one, and it just bends over, and that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Trolley handle all still works. No problems there. All the lights, everything, everything works absolutely fine. The foot plates. For me, the rubber started to grind down a tiny little bit, but the sandpaper finish has remained. It hasn't really worn off on this right one. On the left one, it's only got a tiny little bit of wear on it. Nothing really at all. Again, the rubber started to scuff off after a thousand kilometers, but they have held up incredibly well. Again, uh, considering I have thrown this thing around, and you shouldn't do that with a wheel, they're not designed any wheel, they're not really designed to be thrown around and smashed around. You should be completely responsible with them. But nonetheless, through the adventures that I've taken with this, it's held up really, really well. Um, so from that point of view, I haven't really got anything else to say. Yeah, out of the box, it was spot on, apart from that light. And over the next thousand kilometers, it's held together perfectly fine. Still getting the range I was getting originally. Still got all the power delivery. No parts have fallen off. I have damaged just here now it's the bottom screw right down in there just one screw i've actually broken i don't know how i've done that maybe smashing it into a log over and over again and down some steps and into the ground it's just a guess oh so that's the only damage i've done to it despite all that now there's little scuffs on it and things like that yeah. to be expected to be fair if i hadn't done the log jumping episode most of these and falling down the steps those two instances, if I hadn't done these, these would this would be pretty much pristine. So it would have just looked more or less like new. Bit of a spray, silicon spray over it, dust it down, and it'll all look spot on. Thousand kilometers, the tire has held up again. It has actually did get some glass, slice it open, and it had like weirdly, and I talked about this in the previous video, it had a little puncture. But it went down to 10 psi and stayed there, and I pumped it back up again and it hasn't gone down since. Not a clue about that unexplained but so it's got a little slice in the tire but in terms of tread wear over a thousand kilometers considering the pressure this tire has been under on the road and off-road the tread is pretty much it's pretty much the same as it when it was new obviously it's lost a little bit but hardly anything at all so that's held up incredibly well and the ride with this tire big balloony tire like this the advantages are obvious when you come across rough road or jumping off stuff or up stuff so up curbs if you can't jump it very high the tire will take some of the impact for you, won't get a puncture, won't pinch. So it's, it's a bit of a tank, this thing. of the ones we've sold we've basically had the same experience everyone absolutely loves them and nothing's gone wrong we've had a customer that had the lights go the pretty lights the rainbow lights if you're into that sort of thing and that requires um, the changing of the rear light unit now Gotway have done an update so since this was released there's a new rear light and all it is is got a ring around the outside prettier and it's still got the same center lights, but they've updated that. But that, we had one customer that had that and needed to be swapped out, it was a hassle for us, because actually they've changed the wiring loop, they've beefed up the connectors. So they're not small connectors, they're larger connectors now. We had to change the whole wiring loop for it. But it was a real simple thing, it was just the LED strip. One of the cables was a little bit iffy on that single unit. So the experience for the amount we've sold is this has been pretty much unprecedented in the fact there's no failures. Um, no cutoffs, anything like that. It's been incredible. It's, in fact, when we looked at the statistics, it's the most reliable wheel we've ever sold, closely matched to the in motion out of uh, King Song Gotway in motion in Nine Bot. So that's saying something. They've kind of hit a magic sweet spot with this thing where they've just got it right. And the only thing you could probably critique is its design, which I've grown to love because I just like the wheel. And if you like a wheel, you tend to overlook its briefcasey sort of design 
the nice little far carbon fiber type look does help its case for its prettiness but just the way it, there's nothing like it um, yeah I've, I've really gotten with it well no issues whatsoever the closest wheel for me that comes close to this is a KS 18 XL obviously at time of filming because these things change quite rapidly every year pretty much that's the closest for me but it isn't as rugged as this has been in terms of shell cases and things like that breaking so the problem we had with that I won't go into much detail because this is a review about this but the KS 18 XL we found if you smack the casing on its side like this had with all the falls it's had it tends to break the struts a bit like this one down here where that's been damaged it does it all over the whole thing and it's the main body casing so what that means you need to replace the whole lot brand new internals and then you take the whole thing apart to do it um, so it just loses a little point versus this in terms of robustness so this has been spot on yeah no everything is just held together works perfectly i've even got the original little sticker on there just to show it hasn't been touched at all it's never been split apart it's still one piece sticker the other thing i can mention about it is it's not a light wheel so if you're constantly picking a wheel up and down up and down up and down there's no cutoff switch underneath to stop the wheel spinning so you need to power it down and also you don't want to be carrying it very far anyway now i don't do a lot of carrying and i don't use the trolley handle a great deal either i do use it but just not a great deal it's not like constant up and down up and down, up and down. it's just i'm just riding the thing so i ride from point a point b and hardly ever get off so if you're going to be looking for something to commute in town this could be on the slightly big side but if you're flowing with traffic for a good couple of miles and you need to keep up with traffic this could be spot on for you i wouldn't recommend like a 14 inch smaller wheel that can't go very quick or very far if you're flowing with traffic but if you're doing like a mile commute this is going to be pretty much overkill you won't be disappointed with it but it is going to be overkill and it may just be a little bit too heavy for some people who are going to be carrying a lot but if you're someone that rides and rides and flows through traffic or rides through trails this will cover pretty much all your needs and because of its weight it can actually be an advantage so it's solidly planted to the road due to its size of the tire and its weight i hope these review videos have been very useful for you to take a wheel from unboxing all the way through to a thousand kilometers of use thanks for watching please like this video share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell notification, very important, if you want to be updated to all our videos and our live streams and things like that. Go to Instagram, go to our Twitter and go to our Facebook page and go and like and follow all those things. And you can see little inside snippets of information and funny videos of me falling off, which you've already seen this, but it was pre-shown on the behind the scenes we do. I'll see you on the next one, whatever wheel that may be. Safe riding.